don't be afraid to reach out to people and say hello and ask for help and ask them to have coffee with you yeah. and just get to know people because it's never too early just to start engaging with people and understanding yeah. like what's happening with this older generation because we need you guys to step in and uh, do a much better job than we have. So what's your name and what do you do? Hi, my name is Abriana Alvarez Lopez and I am co-founder and COO of Ignitio AI. Well, what is Ignitio AI? All right, well, I'm going to give you the, the adult version, okay? Let's start <laughs> yeah. with that. Um, Ignitio AI is an agentic orchestration platform that's built for media operations. Agentic? What yeah, what does agentic, agentic mean? <laughs> <laughs> so ag agents you can just think of as like digital co-workers. So you can have somebody who's replicating a task that you do and you repeat all the time that can actually take care of it for you. And so we create a platform that has agents in it that can replicate work that people have to do over and over and over again. That's really boring stuff. So think of if your day every day was filling out Excel spreadsheets, probably wouldn't mm -hmm. be the most fun job or exciting. Um, but if you could have an agent that did that for you, and then the rest of your time you got to free up and actually focus on things you like and engage with people and talk to brands and clients, that's what we're doing. Um, <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Um, so you kind of you create these agents to just that personalize to do certain jobs or yeah so we have an operating system and we sit on top of a client's data stack so right now what's happening in the advertising industry is that things are really broken so I like to explain it like imagine if you had a car and every single tire had its own engine and they didn't talk to one another so you had to tell this tire how to turn and then you had to go to the next tire and tell it how to turn yeah. and so on it would be like really painful to go anywhere, right? And that's kind of what's happening in the marketing and advertising industry. So if you want to start a marketing campaign, you have a lot of different steps. There's actually like 53 people, 17 different teams, and many weeks of work that go into any commercial that you've seen or ad that's shown up on your TV or mobile phone, right? Yeah. Um, and so the agents are what help kind of take those things and automate them or make them happen on their own as if they're humans, and you can just kind of orchestrate them so now you can actually drive the car. And that, that makes perfect sense. Because okay. it, so when you make these agents or jobs to fill in gaps, do you personalize for certain, do you like, all right, your specific job, you go to a person, or is it like, all right, this, this is a job that like one person would do. Here's the materials for it. I don't know if that question makes sense. It does make sense. So what we do is we have agents for specific tasks. So if you had to... Um, you know, build an audience. Like, who am I going after? Who's the intended people I want to see my advertising? Then this specific agent will actually be the one that builds that audience for you based on what outcome you're trying to drive and who you're trying to connect with. And that's that one agent's task. And then you have an orchestrator or like the driver, right? Who kind of is the one who's telling everybody you're engaging with that person. Kind of like you would with, let's say, ChatGPT. Mm -hmm. So just in like normal human language, you can automate these processes and it can tell the agents exactly what to do and where in the process you are. Gotcha. You said you're the co-founder? I am. And what gave you the idea to do this? Well, I have worked for several different companies in the marketing and advertising space. Most recently, I was at Samsung Ads, working on the CTV side of things, and just seeing how broken it was, and I think the challenges, and how people are kind of unhappy with their jobs a lot of times, because you are working day and night, responding to emails, pushing things around, and it makes people really hate their jobs. And I really think that there's a more efficient way of doing that. So how do we make things kind of run more seamlessly and make people like their jobs again and really be able to focus on connection between humans yeah. um, instead of just like pushing spreadsheets and emails yeah, all day. Sort of promoting like creativity yeah. rather than busy work. Yeah, so I saw, yeah. I saw the problems. And then, you know, on the business side, obviously there's a huge revenue impact because um, you know, if things can move faster and if you can service 10 clients instead of just one client, it makes the company operate more efficiently and you can do your job better. So. Right, yeah. Then as a final question, do you have any advice to teenagers that might want to start their own thing or do something that you do? Um, start telling yourself that you can and believe in yourself. <laughs> I think that's really important. And I would say just start trying things, putting yourself out there. This is amazing. I love this company that you've started, and I think it's great that you just like took a step and a leap of faith. Thank you. And I yeah. think it's like amazing that you just continue to put yourself out there. So that would be my encouragement: is um, don't be afraid to reach out to people and say hello and ask for help and ask them to have coffee with you. Yeah. And just get to know people because it's never 
too early just to start engaging with people and understanding what's happening with this older generation because we need you guys to step in and uh, do a much better job than we have. Yeah, I've heard yeah. that as an underlying theme of CAN is the new generation and how they're, how they're going to deal with stuff. Maybe that's just because I'm a group of teenagers, <laughs> but... Um, well, yeah, I so have two kids as well, and I hope that they do something exciting like yeah. this one day. You know, they're just a few years behind you, but I think it's great just that you're setting a precedent for yeah. the, I mean, love the that next generation. Yeah. Yeah. So just don't just be fearless and believe in yourself? Absolutely. All right. yes. Well, thank you very much. No, thank yeah. you. This was so fun. Yeah, All it right. really was.